Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's Block. I'm highly excited because it is Friday. Thank God it is Friday. Wherever you are, I believe you are up and doing. Yes, the game yesterday, AFCON games that took place. Ghana 2, Egypt 2. It was a great game. Even though Ghanaians all over the world, we are disappointed because the three point was up for us to take. If not for some silly errors, we'd have taken the three point from the Furious of Egypt. Nigeria 1-0 against the host nation Ivory Coast. Well, well, well. As you can see on the screen, our agent did the Dobra at work on Victor Osim. Yeah. Yes, that is agent Didi Dobra at work with Victor Osim there. Agent Didi Dobra, the king of goals, King Dobra working on our behalf. Let's hope that something great will come out of it. It ended 2-2. Ghana and Egypt and 1-0 in favor of Nigeria against the host nation Ivory Coast. Well, coming back to Chelsea quickly, nothing will happen with Amanda Brower unless Chelsea have a replacement lineup, according to Matt Law. So all the rumors that are ongoing about Amanda Broha, nothing is going to happen unless Chelsea have a replacement. So we'll have to wait for that replacement before Amanda Brewer could be allowed to go if he has to. Yes, that is the latest now on Amanda Brewer. That is the latest on Amanda Brewer. All right? Okay. Ah, I am sad. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm sad to say that I'll be leaving El Etifak with immediate effect. It wasn't an easy decision, but one that I feel is best for me and my family. I want to take this opportunity to thank the club and the fans for all the support. During my time, I really felt the love from day one. I will keep watching and hoping for your success. Good luck for the future. Jordan Henderson to the Al Tifag Faithfuls. Yes, that is from Jordan Henderson. Jordan Henderson. Now, I ask player. <laughs> Now, Ajax player. Back to Amando Broha. Back to Amando Broha issue. Yes. Amando Broha's reported 50 million asking price is considered overinflated by interested clubs who value Broha at between 30 to 40 million. Yes. Yes. Definitely. What do you expect? If we value the player at 40 million, we'll have to start from somewhere. So that at the end of the day, we will still get what we need. You don't expect that to start from 30 million then when we know that the player's value is 30 million. No. So the owners, Todd Bolle and Co., they have done the right thing. They place the value right there. We know, we know that 15 million is just, you know, out of the range. You can come in with your own offer. Let's negotiate. <laughs> Let's negotiate. But you have to remember, we must get a, re a replacement before we can let him go for even that price that you want to ask us to give you. That is how it is. It is what it is. So, Amanda Brewer's reported 50 million asking price is considered overinflated by interested clubs who value Bro at between 30 to 40 million, according to Niza Kinzela. We understand and we know perfectly what we are doing as a football club. Come and let's negotiate. That is how it is. That is how it is. Yes. Currently, our agent Didier Drogba is working on a replacement. So, you just have to pray and hope. That our agent DDA can work it out and we will be happy to let Broha come to you. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Let me hear from you, Chelsea Faithfuls. I'm excited because it is Friday. Yes, it is Friday. And in this season, as we are right now, next Tuesday, Chelsea Middlesbrough, second leg. Second leg semi finals with Middlesbrough next week, Tuesday. The team has been preparing, preparing fervently. And this AFCON that is ongoing, there have been targets. We've been hearing names. One notable name that we heard, we heard was Diomandi. In yesterday's game, I personally took my time to observe Diomandi carefully, including. Victor Osimhen, his style of play. I just want to analyze it a little bit for you. 
Diomandi was in the game until that penalty was given. Diomandi was in the game until that penalty was given. And after the penalty was given, you could see him clearly losing a little bit of confidence. Even though, even so, even, 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 even so, Victor Osimhen could still not take advantage over the situation. I am not in any way trying to condemn Victor Osimhen right now. But I want Chelsea to take a critical look at him, his style of play, the way he handles the ball outside the box and with inside the box. Secondly, we also need to check his injury situation because I saw him on two or three occasions on the ground. Mr. Osman, we need to check his injury situation. I love him. I'm, I, I, I'm hoping that he'll come to Chelsea. But I will not want a situation whereby we'll go in for a player and in the next one, two, three games, we'll be regretting. So if indeed we are working on that, like I said, Agent Drogba still working on him. Dear friend, we will need to observe carefully. We will need to work on that with then the kind of players we need to surround him with. Otherwise, Victor Osimhen cannot achieve anything with Chelsea. That is just by the way. Olympic Lyon are pushing again to sign Arnold Danjuma. Talks are ongoing and the player remains keen on a move as could have guaranteed game time. Pressure now on Everton to make final decisions and there is no green light yet. According to Fabrizio Romano, Fulham, Fulham have made a 30 million plus 5 million bid to Flominze for Andrew. Personal terms are already agreed. Personal terms are already agreed. These are in the transfer market. Players like Karim Benzema, Femino, and Mitrovic are being offered to Premier League clubs. Karim Benzema, Femino and Mitrovic are being offered to Premier League clubs. A short-term move hasn't been dismissed by Chelsea, but it's unlikely because of the wages. Well, I would prefer we go in for Victor, uh, how do you call it? Karim Benzema now on a short term. Then we take a closer look at Victor Osman for the long term. Karim Benzema currently is on 3.2 million pounds a week in Saudi. 3.2 million pounds per week. And if we are to take Karim Benzema right now, he first of all has to agree to cut his wages to over 90%. He must be prepared to let go over 90%. That would simply mean that even if he's taking 10%, it will still be more than what we are paying our players currently at Chelsea. He's ten, that means 10% is going to be about £320,000 per week. That, I believe, Chelsea can sacrifice in a short term for a player like Karim Benzema because he carries the charisma. He carries that fear factor that defenders normally fear. That fear factor. He carries that charisma and the fear factor. And he can score the goals, I believe, even at 36. I still trust him to deliver for Chelsea. But he, will be pre he should be prepared to... And I know that he also knows. He knows that no, no, no team, no, there's no club in Europe that can pay him what the Saudis are paying him right now. So he'll be prepared to let go that 90% over 90% of his wages. He will be prepared to do that. Let me hear from you what you think. But currently, Benzema, Firmino, and Mitrovic are all available and they've been offered to Premier League clubs. Let's see what our owners are doing between now and before the window will end. Don't forget, in about 10, 11 days from now, the windows will be shut again. Anything we need to do, we must do it now. Chelsea, I will see you in the next one when you see me. Remember, it is a weekend and enjoy your beautiful day. I'll see you when you see me. Shalom and peace.